Is Facebook banning Linux on its own platform? Did you know that you were running malware? Well, at least according to Facebook, you may be. This is a wild yet ironic drama in which users have been noticing something weird going on at Facebook. This discussion seemingly with a Reddit post called Meta Banning Distro Watch? Question mark. In recent days, Meta has started deleting comments and posts on Facebook where distrowatch.com is mentioned. My account there is flagged as a danger to cybersecurity because I've had one post and several comments removed simply for mentioning the site and using data as a reference to this ongoing debate. So there's been a lot of sites and news related to this. We're going to get into all this and whether or not it's actually a false claim, but it is funny to see some of the posts from users, including Facebook system can't even handle proper automations, yet it's always boasting how edge their technologies are. Same with YouTube and others. And I can confirm all I did was create a test post mentioning distrowatch.com. And when I hit post, it instantly got a link can't be shared because it goes against community guidelines. People are testing this out, but was it really banned? Well, more posts have been made as Facebook calls Linux a cybersecurity threat and bans people who mention the operating system. Now we're starting to get some screenshots as people are trying to post things about Linux. And again, let's focus on the fact that they're mentioning distro watch in this one. They say, are Linux topics verboten or prohibited? Well, seemingly they are because it says right here that distro watch, your post could not be shared because the link goes against our community standards. And also here they get a flag as well saying that there's something wrong. Could Linux actually be the keyword that is incorrect here? Well, I'm going to break down the fact that Facebook has claimed this is an automated moderation mistake, but many users are doubting this. How in the world could the AI system mistakenly target a major open source platform? That's kind of funny. If this was a mistake, are the bans being upheld after their appeals? It, it kind of puts into mind what in the world is going on and is this a broader sense of censorship? Again, the posts are hilarious as it's a cybersecurity threat when they can't install spyware on your system, really twisting those words around. And it's a cyber-based threat to Meta's financial security when they can't collect as much data to sell. And my favorite here, you got zucked. News outlets also took this and started running with it. From PC Mag, Facebook accidentally blocks users from posting about Linux. And the subtitle here, after Facebook posts about Linux were removed with warnings about malicious software, Meta blames an enforcement error that says discussions of Linux are allowed. I think it's hilarious that they even need to make that statement because the ironic part is that whether or not it's allowed, Facebook runs much of its infrastructure on Linux. And that's what makes this thing, at least in my opinion, particularly absurd. Let's understand what the meta platform is built upon as it's building our commitment to open source software and even mentions Linux in the first paragraph. Right here, the site has been built upon common open source software such as Linux, Apache, Memcached, MySQL, and PHP. And so is about 80% of the internet that relies on the security, stability, and reliability of Linux. We all know Facebook has a history of censorship and labeling Linux as a cybersecurity threat is just frustrating. How did it get this bad? Well, the reality is a little mixed here, and we're going to get into that. But before we do, if you like these types of videos, make sure to subscribe below as YouTube can get a little finicky. You wouldn't want to miss the next one. Regardless, it really feels like this meme here. Shout out to Sluxury, a Discord member, showing how Facebook seemingly as looking at something not threatening. Is this a malware? Is it a cybersecurity threat? We don't know, but we're going to ban it anyway. But I think some people have missed what actually happened here. This seems to be AI content management related, meaning AI is what processed this ban here, seemingly associating things like DistroWatch and Linux together. Are they inherently bad? Well, no, but it made a mistake. As many places are still talking about this, Hacker News, for example, Facebook ban on discussing Linux, and a user here confirmed that they explicitly tested this with their, quote, super unused Facebook account, just stating that I was testing restrictions on talking about Linux. The text was, I don't often or ever post anything on Facebook, but when I do, it's to check if they really has announced on Hacker News are restricting discussing Linux. So here's a few links to trigger that. And indeed, within seconds, I got the following warning. We removed your post. The post may be using misleading links or content to trick people to visit or stay on a website. This is a massive one while considering much of the Facebook runs on Linux. Well, this is kind of goofy. It's moving people out of Facebook to go to a site. I don't know if this is really a tall tale sign that they're actually banning Linux, but fair enough. Let's see what the likes of Tom's Hardware are saying. Tom's Hardware says Facebook flags Linux topics as cybersecurity threats, posts, and users being blocked. DistroWatch is one of the largest affected organizations. I think this is actually 
what's key. So let's focus on that. This goes in much of the same information that we already talked about, but this paragraph is particularly interesting. DistroWatch says the Facebook ban took effect on January 19th. Readers have reported difficulty posting links to the site on the social media platform. Moreover, some have told DistroWatch that their Facebook accounts have been locked or limited after sharing posts mentioning Linux topics. So I think what's actually happening here, at least in my mind, is DistroWatch is what got flagged first. And then Linux topics preceding the Linux watch ban or flag were a subsequent or a secondary effect of that crackdown. Why did DistroWatch get flagged? Well, I'm starting to think it's because it links to security-focused Linux distributions, think Kali Linux, Parrot, and other ones that have been associated with flag content in the past. And particularly, Facebook's automated system went a little haywire. It's inconsistent and unreliable, making it hard to pinpoint the exact cause. But a lot of this news is getting sensationalized. As many news tech outlets and even the Linux community members took DistroWatch's claims at face value. Seemed like everybody was getting censored left and right, including their posts getting removed. But it actually seems a little more concentrated after looking through some of the main pieces of evidence. I still don't want to get away from the larger implications of this, as their automated systems have to get better. This is stupid on Facebook's part that they would ban or even associate bans, including post removals, just because a flagged word, because this can have an impact on legitimate communities. The bans affected users and groups discussing Linux, hindering the legitimate conversations and sharing of information in tech community, even though it was such a short amount of time. It shows you the moderation challenges that they're having and how hard it is to use automated content moderation because you can get false positives like this and lead to the suppression of actual important topics. This stupid ban on DistroWatch and Linux mainly conflicts and disrupts user engagement and raises concerns about how well these systems actually work. So even though we're talking about overzealous ban of some Linux topics and the ironic part of Facebook running much of its infrastructure on Linux, all seemingly started with a DistroWatch flag where they removed a post and talked about why this happened aka the post may facilitate the sharing, creation, or hosting of malicious software. Again, I think this all came from talking about things like Kali, Parrot, and Cubes. And we'll notice that a lot of the conversation all focuses around DistroWatch, as DistroWatch reached out to Facebook, but initially the company refused to relent. I've tried to appeal the ban and was told the next day Linux-related material is staying on the cybersecurity filter. My Facebook account was locked for my efforts, DistroWatch wrote. The sad irony here is that Facebook runs much of its infrastructure on Linux and often post job ads looking for Linux developers, DistroWatch added, and the company since reversed course, telling PC Mag this enforcement was an error and has been addressed. Discussion of Linux are allowed on our services. What a goofy ride. And I'm glad that Facebook is getting a lot of pushback no matter what. People should be encouraged to talk about Linux on the Facebook platform, and it looks like they took a hard reversal at the end. I think the big takeaway here is that they really need to get better about their automated content moderation, where false positives can lead to massive issues like this. I'd love to hear what you think about the ban in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already. You made it this far. I really appreciate you watching to the end. Also, don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't already. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple-to-read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to SavvyNick.com now and get access to these sheets.